What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be going through my top 20 Star Wars EU books that I have read this far. There's just too many that I've read that I really like to do a top 10 so I, I'm doing a 20. And uh, yeah, I've read Dawn of the Jedi uh, Into the Void to the Empire Strikes Back novelization. And uh, two books I have not finished reading are the Lando Adventures and the Clone Wars no movie novelization. I haven't read Outbound Flight, Choices of One, Allegiance, Tales from the Empire, and Tales from the New Republic, so those will not be, yeah. So uh, if you like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars videos in the future as we go into the new year, and uh, yeah. There will be uh, some spoilers for these books, but yeah, it's it's more basic stuff, so. All right, number 20, The Force Unleashed 2 novelization by Sean Williams. You follow the clone of Starkiller as he tries to reunite with Ram Koda and Juno, you know, his friends from the first, well, rather Starkiller's friends from the first, uh, video game and book so and this leads to an attack on Camino and Vader uh being captured by the rebels and this was superior to the game it's based on as it added a whole subplot with Juno going to uh the Mon Calamari homeworld and stuff like that and kind of getting them to join the rebellion it was actually pretty good number 19 Shadow Games by Michael Reeves and Maya Catherine Bonoff. We follow Dash Rendar as he plays bodyguard to a hollow star with issues involving Black Sun. I enjoyed this book. Dash Rendar, um, I, I really liked as a character and um, I enjoyed him. So uh, I uh, can't wait to uh, read Shadows of the Empire. So to get more Dash Rendar. Number 18. A New Hope novelization by Alan Dean Foster and based on the screenplay by George Lucas. This has several differences to the movie, like the prologue of the novel, and there are four squads instead of two attacking the Death Star, you know, yellow and gold in the movie, and in the, the book it's uh, green, red, blue, and yellow. Yellow or gold? Either way, it's yellow, basically. Number 17, Darth Bane, Dynasty of Evil by Drew Carpetian. This is the third in the Darth Bane trilogy. And Bane makes a holocron and has the showdown between, between him and Zana, his apprentice, to see who will be the master and continue the lineage of the Sith. Uh, Darth Bane is the best part of his trilogy, and he doesn't disappoint in the last book. So, Number 16, Labyrinth of Evil by James Lucino. This serves as a prequel novel to Revenge of the Sith, and in it, Obi-Wan and Anakin find Newt Gunray's Mechno Chair, which leads them and the other Jedi to almost discovering the identity of Darth Sidious, but the attack happens on uh, Coruscant, so that kind of halts everything, and it leads right into Revenge of the Sith, so this was a fantastic book and an enjoyable read, and uh, yeah, if the Jedi were so close you know, man, the Jedi were so close to discovering Palpatine with Sidious. It's so close. Uh, things could have been different. Number 15, The Hut Gambit by A.C. Crispin. This is the second of the Han Solo trilogy. And uh, having been kicked out of the Imperial Academy for saving Chewbacca, who was a slave, uh, you know, who has sworn Han a life debt, after the events of the first book, The Elysian Huts, have hired the great bounty hunter Boba Fett to hunt Han down and deliver him to the huts. But Han and Chewie, they begin working for Jiliak and Jabba, and they're different. They're a different clan than the huts that dealing with the Elysian stuff. Uh, the huts with Elysia, they're uh, the Basadi clan, and obviously Jabba and Jiliak are of the Desilijiak, Desilijiak, whatever, you know. They're different clans. And, uh, you know, this leads to Han and Chewie being caught in the middle of, you know, the whole Hut clan war stuff. 
This is my favorite of the Han Solo trilogy and the Hut, you know, again, the Hut clan stuff I thought was really interesting and uh, probably one of the reasons why I really love this actually trilogy just in general, but it, it, you know, there's a lot of Hut stuff in this. So number 14, Mall Lockdown by Joe Schreiber. In this book, Maul infiltrates the Cog Hive 7 space prison to obtain a bomb for Darth Sidious. This book is put simply, Maul being a badass, eh, the whole book. You know, fighting other inmates and in, in the fighting arena that they do in there and figuring out how to get the bomb, you know, finding the person that will that has the bomb in the prison. That was some of the standout of this book. So this is a really good Darth Maul book. Number 13, Darth Bane, Rule of Two by Drew Carpetian. Bane trains Zana and Johun Othon, a Jedi, and some of uh, some other Jedi discover the Sith still exist, and they go to face them on Tython. This book was great, and the ending on Tython is fantastic. Number 12, Death Troopers by Joe Schreiber. On the Imperial Prison Barge, a, a virus that turns you into a zombie... Uh, affects the people on there and you have a few prisoners and some and a few other characters that survive the encounter and you know escape and all that and uh yeah this was a fun uh read even you know the horror isn't my favorite and uh yeah I, I, this book I, you know i was on the edge of my seat it was it it felt fast i and uh yeah there was some really cool surprises in this book so number 11 MedStar 1, Battle Surgeons, and MedStar 2, Jedi Healer. Um, yeah, th and these are both by Michael Reeves and Steve Perry. Um, I, I'm putting these uh, together because really they're, they're just one story. Um, they're so good that I I don't want to separate them or one's better than you. It's just not. You, you need to read both anyway, so yeah, these are good, you know. And you follow a group of characters, including Barisafi working at a Rimsu as medics on the jungle planet Drongar as uh, the Republic and the Separatists fight over Bota, which uh, basically is a plant that has lots of uses depending on the species and that, so it's very valuable. And uh, yeah, this this uh, this uh, this book is, or these two books rather, it's kind of like MASH, but in Star Wars. So if you, if you really like MASH, you know, read these books and Star Wars, Give these books a try. They're pretty good. You know, the characters are great. And it's connected to Darth Maul Shadowhunter, uh, you know, which is an earlier book in the timeline, uh, which that's kind of cool. But you don't have to read the Darth Maul Shadowhunter to enjoy this uh, book. So, and, you know, it is also connected to the Coruscant Knights trilogy, uh, but that takes place after. So, number 10. Republic Commando True Colors by Karen Travis. And this is the third in the Republic Commando series. The uh, members of Omega Squad continue helping Skirata, you know, their surrogate father figure, figure out how to uh, decelerate their aging. They also start building a homestead on Mandalore to go at to after they get out of the army. Um, I really like this series, you know. The Commandos are awesome, and all the Mandalorian lore throughout the series is fantastic, and... I find deeply interesting. Number nine, Attack of the Clones novelization by R.A. Salvatore, or Salvatore probably. It follows the movie, but adds things. Uh, it has more scenes with Anakin and Padme and fleshes out their relationship, and it makes a little bit more sense. They spend more time. We see we see them interact with each other. Um and, uh, yeah, there's also other scenes that were deleted from the movie but are in the book, you know, like the uh, the trial, Anakin and Padme's trial on Geonosis. Pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, novelization, you know. It, it does the bare minimum and then adds. And to me, that's a good novelization. It can't just do the movie you because what's the point? If you're just going to do the movie, you might as well just watch the movie. But anyways, number eight. Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader by James Lucino. We follow Vader not long after Revenge of the Sith as he tries to rid himself of any lingering um, bits of Anakin. 
He goes on several missions to strengthen both the Empire and his foothold into the dark side. And, you know, he also fights uh, a Jedi in this book. Um, you know, this is pure, simply awesome Darth Vader action. And you get you get a little bit of his thoughts and kind of how the suit works and a little, yeah, you understand how the suit, yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's, it's a good book, it, especially if Darth Vader is like your favorite character. This is a must read. Number seven, the old Republic annihilation by Drew Carpetian. This is the fourth of the old Republic uh, series, fourth book. Uh, and, uh, in that series ties into the game with the same name. And, uh, we follow Theron Shan, son of the current Jedi Grandmaster, Satil Shan, though he has no Force sensitivity, and he must uh, go on a mission to sabotage Darth Karad's, uh ship that is uh, that poses a significant threat to the Republic. This was a fun spy book set in Star Wars, and uh, and the characters were great, and uh, it's a, it's a really good Old Republic era book, so. If you like that era, you got to read this. Number six, Republic Commando Order 66 by Karen Travis. It is the, this is the fourth book of the Republic Commando series. And we, you know, obviously are still following Omega Squad and the other characters as they deal with Order 66. And uh, this was a great read, very suspenseful and a nice tie in to Revenge of the Sith and Republic Commando, you know, the video game. Uh, yeah, it was it's fun and it's kind of cool reading about order 66 from different perspectives. Number five scoundrels by Timothy Zahn. And this is a heist. This is a heist story with Han and Chewie and several other characters. And it's a bit like oceans 11. If you've seen that, this was enjoyable. And I was interested in the story throughout the whole book while I was reading the whole book, a really great read. Number four, Revenge of the Sith, novelization by Matthew Stover. And uh, this is, it. it's the movie, but expanded and includes deleted scenes from the movie. Um, yeah, like, obviously. And one thing that I find with this is it does a fantastic job of getting in Anakin's head. And we understand why he turns, because we, he's... He's sitting on Tatooine all by himself, like not doing anything. And that's the perfect place for Palpatine to continually, you know, push and pull things behind the scenes and slowly work on Anakin to turn him to the dark side. Like you, you really see a lot of that in the book. You see some of it in the movie, but the book is just, yeah, so good a must read for any star Wars fan. Uh, really the top four are must reads for any star Wars fan. So, uh, number three, Darth Plagueis by James Lucino. This book follows the Mune Sith Lord, Darth Plagueis and his apprentice, Darth Sidious, you know, Palpatine as they plot to take the uh, Jedi down and, uh, you know, become the rulers of the galaxy. And, uh, yeah, it, this book, serves as a uh, Palpatine's origin story. Yes, it does. Ha it, it It's basically the first uh, half is uh, about Plagueis and then it switches to Palpatine and the rest of the book is basically from Palpatine's perspective. So it's really great. And then uh, now some honorable mentions. Uh, first up is Republic Commando Triple Zero by Karen Travis. And it's the second book in the series. And Omega Squad are on a mission on Coruscant. And then the next one is Death Star by Michael Reeves and Steve Perry. And we follow several characters revolving around the Death Star uh, over uh, a span of a few years. So really interesting stuff. Number two, Kenobi by John Jackson Miller. Kenobi is on Tatooine watching over Luke. And uh, he meets several farmers in the town who he helped fends off Tusken Raiders and there's, you know, squabbles amongst the farmers themselves. And uh, it's a great book. And uh, this is what the Kenobi show should have been. I, I didn't think that a, an adventure on Tatooine with Obi-Wan could be a, 
a good, interesting thing, read or whatever, but it's fantastic. So good. And then number one, Darth Bane, Path of Destruction by Drew Carpetian. And this is Bane's origin story. He, he goes to the Sith Academy on Korriban. He trains and then uh, takes out all the other Sith and establishes the rule of two. Uh, pretty simply, you know, this, this book is fantastic. It's, uh, it's actually the first EU book I've ever, I ever read. Um, I read it a few years ago, the first time. And yeah, so maybe I'm a little biased, but, um, you know, I've, I've reread it since then and I still enjoy it. It's, it's so good. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good, but really uh, these top four could have really switched places like, but, uh, yeah, this is the order they're given right now. Maybe when I re-rank them later or whatever, the order will be a little different. Uh, we'll see. So, yeah. Well, that's my list of uh, the top 20 uh, that I've read thus far. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? Uh, is there any that uh, you uh, feel that I uh, were too low? Or are there books on, that aren't on this list that should be? Or, you know, like, what do you think? So... You can tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.